Welcome to another local market update with Rick Batista on new listings, Rick Batista on closed sales, Rick Batista on median sales price, Rick Batista on percent of original list price received, Rick Batista on market time, and Rick Batista on inventory of homes for sale. How's it going, Chicago? Here to bring you another monthly market update uh, just to see what's going on with Chicago real estate. I uh, was hoping to get this information for you sooner to get distributed with our weekly video, but uh, as luck would have it, the monthly reports came out right after we were finished filming, so here we are. Three, two, one! A whole new video. If you're watching, thank you, and I appreciate it very, 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 very much. First, going to read off some uh, fun facts here, uh, both national and local news. Existing home sales declined nationwide for the eighth consecutive month, falling 1.5% as of last measure, according to the National Association of Realtors, an organization which I am a part of, with sales down nearly 24% from the same period last year. Pending home sales also declined, dropping 10.9% month-to-month, exceeding economists' expectations. Stubbornly high inflation and soaring borrowing costs have eroded buyer purchasing power and have caused the market to cool rapidly this year. So I'll say this about interest rates. Uh, They certainly have increased drastically uh, throughout this year, but historically they're still low and people are going to buy when they need to buy. And that's just the the fact of life. But uh, some of the things that buyers are doing and, and thankfully lenders are putting out some programs to help buyers, situations that call for it. Uh, such as an adjustable rate mortgage loan or uh, a buy down loan, where with the seller's cooperation, uh, they are a, the buyer is able to have a lower interest rate. Uh, the thought process is by the time the their rate goes back up uh, in year three, the rates will be in a better place where the borrower then can refinance um, and hopefully save some money the remaining time that they live in that home. I covered that a little bit in our weekly update, if you had a chance to catch that. New listings in the city of Chicago were down 8.2% for detached homes and 31.8% for attached properties, attached being condos and townhomes. Listings under contract decreased 26.4% for detached homes and 39.7% for attached properties. The median sales price was up 5.7% to 306 k for detached homes, but was down 4.3% to 330 k for attached properties. Month supply of inventory increased 15.1% for detached units, but decreased 16.8% for attached units. Going back to national news, the U.S. housing market is undergoing a major shift and affordability continues to be an obstacle for buyers and sellers. Mortgage rates have doubled since March and home prices remain elevated due to a limited supply of homes, although price gains are slowing at a quickening pace. As a result, many homeowners are waiting until market conditions improve to sell their home, while other sellers are increasingly cutting prices and offering concessions to attract a greater number of buyers. I've said this before, and I will continue to say this. People always ask, when is the best time to buy or sell? The real question is, when is the best time for you? Uh, You have to do what's best for you, your situation, your family, uh, your home life. If you weren't able to sell when the market was super hot, then... That's that's what happened. Here here we are now. If you need to sell, uh, we just need to figure out what's what's the best price. If you need to sell, you need to sell. If you need to buy, you need to buy. There's certainly times that are better if you want to look at it in, in a certain way to where you can either save more money or make more money. But at the end of the day, it's all about peace of mind. And it's really hard to put a price tag on that. Before I dive into the numbers numbers for the city of Chicago, I just wanted to cover, because uh, I covered this in last month's report, Uh, Lender mediated sales, uh, that would be uh, foreclosures, bank owned property, pre foreclosure, short sales. Although across the board, the industry is expecting uh, these numbers to go up uh, and these opportunities to become more available. Just wanted to show you right now that uh, it's not a threat. Uh, Actually, numbers have gone down. Uh, The share of closed sales that were lender mediated back in September, if you recall, was 2.2%. And actually, it's going down. Uh, Last month in October was. 1.7%. So uh, if it is going to be a threat later on, it ain't one yet. So covering now the entire city of Chicago, please keep in mind, this is the entire city of Chicago. This is covering the 77 areas. What's reflective across the city may not be true in your specific area, in your specific neighborhood. Um, But this is for October 2022 and for residential activity only. Throughout the rest of the video, we're just going to cover detached single family homes, uh, not attached. 
New listings for all properties down by 22.8%, closed sales down by 30.1%, and inventory of homes down by 18.2%. We'll take a look again at detached single-family homes for the month of October, as well as year-to-date numbers. We had 1,611 new listings hit the market across Chicago, and that was down 8.2% year-over-year. Year-to-date, 17,557, up by 3.4% year-over-year. Closed sales, we had 723 last month, down by 28.4%. And year-to-date, 8,993, down by 6.2%. Median sales price in the month of October was 306000 up by 5.7% year-over-year. And year-to-date, 320K, up by a fraction, 0.3%. Please keep in mind that median sales price is not average sales price, and that certainly is not reflective of all the all the neighborhoods and areas of Chicago. Uh, median sales price is the number that's smack dab in the middle, equal number of homes sold for more than, and equal number sold for less than that amount. Percent of original list price received, 95.3%, down 2.2%, and year-to-date, 98.1%, down by 1% year-over-year. Market time, 56 days was the average market time for a detached single-family home throughout Chicago, up by 16.5% year-over-year, and year-to-date, pretty even Stephen, 51 and 53, uh, down by 3.8%. And the inventory of homes for sale, we wrapped up the month with 2,911, which was an increase of 5.5% year-over-year. You know, keep on hearing a lot of people saying that it's a buyer's market just because they hear that the rates are so high. And yes, the rates are much higher than they were earlier this year, uh, but historically they're still rather low. And when your own personal situation calls for having to move, whether you need to sell or or buy, you're going to do what you need to do. That's just a fact of life. Looking at the data across the areas that uh, we're working and focusing on uh, here in the city of Chicago, the north side of Chicago, certainly may not be reflective of what other parts uh, of the city or other parts of the city are seeing. Even within our own transactions, we're still seeing situations where sellers are getting at or above asking, obviously not as often as the last couple of years, but we've still seen that recently. Uh, still seeing multiple bid situations, and it really depends on how well the property is priced, what area it's in, and if it's a great opportunity, there's a great chance that more than one person is going to be chasing that property. So I just wanted to kind of go over and point out to you why I don't believe it's a buyer's market. Please know that I'm just going to be talking about a few areas in the north side of Chicago. This certainly should not give you an indication of what's happening all across Chicago. Uh, but there's three areas uh, that we cover where they haven't been able to boast the statistics of some of the other areas. We're looking specifically at percent of originalist price received. Uh, I think that's a great indicator as to whether or not the table's tilted towards the seller side or the buyer side. Please keep in mind we're going to be covering only single-family detached homes, okay? Not attached, which are condos and townhomes. But in Avondale across, sellers on average received 92.5% of the original list price. Uptown across two sales, 93.5%. So not necessarily uh, that fair to compare two sales versus 10. Lincoln Park saw 933 percent across 14 sales and the near north side just like uptown saw two sales transactions with 79.4 percent of the original list price received now to cover some areas that have been a little hotter uh albany park for a year to date they're at 99.7 percent october they were 96.8 percent uh, still very respectable edgewater saw 99.7 percent year to date with 62 transactions Irving Park, muy caliente, 98.4% uh, in October with 23 transactions and 100% year-to-date with 259 transactions. Lakeview, 99% across 151 sales. And Lincoln Square is at 99.1% for year-to-date with 120 transactions. Logan Square, another one that's muy caliente, 100.5% in the month of October across 11 transactions. Uh, with a year-to-date 99.5% with 215 transactions. North Center year-to-date numbers 99.8% with 183 sales. And North Park, another one that is, uh, I would I would categorize as muy caliente too. Definitely a very nice area. 100.1% across six transactions 
and 99% year to date with 54 transactions. And now let's see what's happening in your neck of the woods. So there you have it, folks. This is my monthly report for October 2022. If you have any questions or want a copy of any of the reports that we covered here, uh, please feel free to reach out. Our contact information is below. If you'd like to have a deeper conversation and see what the what these statistics and, and data mean for you, again, our contact information is below. We'd be more than happy to hear from you, even if you just want to call and say hi. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Enjoy the rest of your day and... We'll catch you next week, if not next month. Take care.